Hello and welcome to a quick flip through of the Summer Prelude Junk Journal. This junk journal measures approximately eight and a quarter by six and a half inches. It's held together with two rings. It was created by a digital kit called Summer Prelude, which has kind of a bird theme to it. It's a very feminine, um, heavily embellished journal. And um, all of the pages have been sewn and coffee dyed and lightly distressed. This kit was from um, a shop on Etsy called Ephemeris Garden. This tag is a, attached to the outside of the front cover and flips over for more journaling. The inside of the front cover has a little catch here, a little tuck, and holds a small little journal, which has approximately 10 sides on which to journal on. The front of it has a glassine bag that's also been coffee dyed, and inside the bag are two journaling cards. And they fit right inside there. The first page has a pocket embellished with a little lace and it holds a couple little journaling cards and also a little envelope that has more journaling cards inside of there. This is the back side of that page. It has a lace pocket. Again, more journaling cards and areas to write in the journal. This is matching paper from the kit. Little journaling card there. And then another glassine bag with a graphic from the kit on the top and a bird related journaling card inside of that. This page is for journaling. It's been embossed with lines to make journaling a little bit easier. And it has been embellished with a, some eyelash trim and a couple of images from the kit. The journal is made to lay flat for easy, easier journaling. Um, so it's a, it flips a much easier when I'm not holding it up. This page has a pocket here. Journaling paper inside of there. And it just fits right in the corner. There's lots of paper clips attached to the journal for you to attach your own pictures or extra journaling notes or keepsakes. It has approximately 28 pages or 58 sides in which to journal in or stash mementos or anything else you'd like to, to keep. Again, more journaling pages. Some are embossed with lines and some are left blank for those who like to draw. This page is actually from a book and has a little tuck in the front, also bird related. A little ephemera can fit right in there or a photo, whatever you'd like to keep. Again, more pages for journaling. This page, the glassine bag is actually attached to and used as a pocket. It has some um, ephemera attached to the front of the envelope, which acts as kind of a pocket here. And it has some little paper flower, some bird-related tissue, another journaling card. And that's all in this front pocket here. Whoops. A little paper flower and then inside the envelope are uh, a feather and a few more journaling cards here I'll have images of the kit from the kit there's also another journaling card there and again, you can put photos in the pockets or, 
or keepsakes, tickets, receipts, whatever you like to use your journal for. More places to write. This page here is actually created from a little mini folder. And you can see when I turn the corner back, it has a grommet on the top to hold gems or more cards, whatever you'd like to add to it. I have stuffed it pretty full, but there's still room for you to add your own treasures. And inside, there's a distress postcard here. A cute graphic of a fairy on it. And also another piece that you can use as a journaling card or a bookmark. Um, that was also part of the kit. There's still plenty of room to tuck whatever you would like to inside. This little gem attached is actually a little birdcage with a pearl in it, embellished with some eyelash trim. This page is actually an envelope and has an envelope attached to this side. It has a little charm of a birdcage with a heart on it. It's embellished with a little fabric flower and pearl. In the front pocket of the envelope, it's just a little, little envelope, smaller envelope that has a tuck and you can keep whatever you'd like inside of there. You can put that right in the front. And then inside the envelope is um, a tiny little envelope. And this pocket here that you can add another photo or whatever you'd like to keep in there. There's also more room in the envelope for pictures or whatever you'd like to keep inside there. This page is embellished with, or I'm sorry, <laughs> embossed with um, journaling lines as well as these two. This tuck is just made with a little piece of lace and has a journaling card on the inside of there. This little graphic on the corner says T for two always and again it's a little bit, um, it's birds. A couple more pages for journaling, lots of pages to write on. And this one says, and under his wing you will find refuge. A little piece of fabric to the top. This page again is an envelope. It opens from the top. I tried not to fill it too much to leave room for you to add your own your own collectibles too. The back of the page is actually a pocket, the butterfly, and also has a couple of the journaling cards tucked in there that match the kit. Different papers that open for journaling on the back and graphics on the front. There's a tuck here on this page. Again, it's been embossed for easier journaling. This page has a little tiny gem on it, the little bird embellished with some lace. The next page, again, another pocket. Lots of room to journal and lots of room to stash things journaling card here that's part of the kit. And the back page of that pocket. This page actually has a series of envelopes attached to it. It stays closed with the paper clip and opens up for more journaling and places to tuck things. There's a journaling card here. Page flips, more areas to journal, flips again. There's a little envelope here with an insert, flips again. It looks like a distressed envelope. Again, here is a tuck. Pretty lily on there. And then this is the last page here. The end of it is another little uh, glassine envelope. It has another little paper flower and journaling page to it. That fits in there, and this just opens up for extra journaling. 
or you can attach a picture to it. The front also has um, a little tuck in it with a tiny journaling paper and embellished with a little bit of fabric flower in a gem. And then you can keep this closed again by just using the paper clip to that page. That page is also an envelope that has a larger journaling page in it. Again, all the pages are sewn. The tails have been left on, but of course you can cut them off if you like a neater look. And the one page flips over the top of this pocket here. And then there is still uh, plenty of room inside this pocket for your own journaling pages that you'd like to add to the book. The rings do open so you can add or take away pages or change the order of the pages. More pages to journal. This page actually has a pocket from another postcard. It can also be used as a belly band. And it holds just another journaling sheet that goes along with the kit. Uh, more pages to journal here. Another pocket for your own keepsakes or photos or extra journaling pages. And another graphic, music washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. With another bird-related graphic on here. More journaling pages. This is another mini folder that's being held closed by this little paper clip. It opens up this way. And you can put a photo in there or whatever types of keepsakes you'd like to keep. This is the back of that envelope. Another journaling page here. This page, again, is another, another pocket. Lots of room to stash things. And inside that pocket is an envelope that's been made. I apologize for the video. I am much better at making journals than I am videoing them. This envelope was created by um, more printed pages from the kit. It has a magnetic closure, and again, more room to store photos or whatever you would like to keep in there. I just put the envelope inside the pocket, and you can also use this as a, as a tuck to hold extra pages. This is the back of that envelope. Another journaling page. And this is the last page of the journal. It has a graphic with birds on it. And again, that last page is also has a large pocket. Just stash things in, um, along with an, a, a distress journaling page that matches the kit and the page. This is the inside back of the cover. It's embellished with this cute little trim. And this is the back of the back of the journal. Thank you very much for watching.